In this video, we will build our own crypto coin on Ethereum main network. We will write our own ERC20 smart contract using Solidity and Open Zeppelin. Then we will deploy your token to the Ethereum test network using MetaMask and Hardhat. And finally, we will allow users to buy and sell your own crypto token. How cool is that? All right, so for part one, we are going to be installing Hardhat and then we'll be creating our initial project repository using Hardhat, okay? So go into your terminal, as you can see right here. From there, go into a folder where you want to create your project. So in my case, I will do CD project right here. And inside this, I will go ahead and make a directory using something called McDeer, McDeer right here, McDeer. And I will create a uh, project for my crypto coin. So in my case, I'll call it, I don't know, web three build, builders coin, whatever it might be, right? Web three builders coin, that's my coin. All right, go ahead and hit enter, beautiful. All right, once we've created the folder, we need to go into the folder. So I will do CD, Web3 Builders right here, Web3 Builders coin, hit enter. That will go into the folder. And let's go ahead and initialize our uh, project using NPM. So NPM init, initialize our project, call our project, give it a name. So Web3 Builders dash coin, make sure to have, add a dash in there. Boom, hit enter, 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 enter. Good, and hit yes. <laughs> and that's it guys, okay? Once we've got that, what you want to do is now do npm install hardhat. So let's go ahead and do that. npm install dash dash save dev hardhat, just like that. Hit enter. There we go. So it's going to install hardhat. Those of you who don't know, hardhat is amazing for basically initializing smart contracts, uh, you know, um, smart contracts, basically in, you know, yeah, it's just amazing for initializing smart contracts. Okay, give it some time. Okay. Okay, now all is good. To initialize our project, you need, we need to do npx hard hat like this. npx hard hat like so. Boom, hit enter. Create a basic simple project, hit enter on that one. And here's your root. So hard hat project root, as you can see right there. That's gonna be my root. So I hit enter. So make sure you have the Web3 Builders coin right here, or whatever the name is, pretty much. Um, do you wanna, yes, let's go ahead and say yes for that one. Do you want to install the simple dependencies with npm? Yes. There we go. Let it install all dependencies it needs. There we go. All right, sweet. Okay. We're done with that. Okay, next up, we want to open up our project in VS Code. So let's go ahead and do that right now. So make sure you do all file VS Code, a new window in VS Code. If you don't have a new window, I'm going to just put it on the right side like this. Hit open. Open up your project like so, Web3 coin. So I went to the projects folder, Web3 builders coin, hit open. Okay, there you go. Yes, I trust these authors and then all is good. And so now my friends, we have ourselves the contract. Look at that. We have our initial contract called greer.sol, right? Um, and that's pretty much it. For part two, let's create our ERC20 token using Open Zeppelin. We are going to use Open Zeppelin starting wizard. So let's go ahead and do Open Zeppelin. Zeppelin wizard, just type this out like so. And this wizard will allow us to create our initial smart contract, okay? So you can see, we're gonna select the ERC20 uh, smart contract right here, right there. Uh, give it a name. So in my case, the name is gonna be uh, web three builders, we three builders, no, web three builders, right? So, all right, symbol. Yo, no, just kidding. Uh, <laughs> w, W3, I don't know, W3, Web3, W3, I like that name. All right, and then pre-mint is how many do you want to pre-mint initially for yourself? Um, so we're going to actually give it a, so this is how much supply you want to have at first, basically. So you, I'm going to give, going to give this a 10,000 supply. There we go, that's yeah, supply. And uh, in through supply, remember, we have all these decimals right here. If we zoom in on this right here, the reason why it multiplies it by 10 and then decimals is because of the fact that, remember from the 10,000 coins, we can also have, you know, uh, fractions of a coin. You know, I think it's like 18 fractions of a coin that you can have. So that's how we always, always add so many decimals to the 10,000 basically. And now the reason why we have this 10,000 times 10 times decimals is because of the fact that it's not just one coin, but you can have fractions of a coin. So you have to multiply by number to allow people to use like fractions when we, you know, send money, receive money, buy something, whatever it might be, right? 
Um, and that's pretty much it, honestly. We don't need to do anything else in terms of possible flash minting, slap shots, none of this stuff. Um, yeah. Then what you want to do at this point is just copy this whole thing, this Pragma Solidity thing. Just copy that. I'll go to back to VS Code. And then let's create a new contract here, okay? So right click on a new contract, hit new file, okay? And inside that, type in Web3 Builders builders coin dot sol so solid solidity of course and then command v on this one and then just hit save for now that's it now as you can see we don't currently have open zeppelin installed in our hard hat so we need to install that first let's go ahead and right click open an integrated terminal let's go let me remove this and then from there, I'm going to do cd dot, dot dot slash to go back to the root folder because currently I'm, the, I'm in the context folder and I don't need that. I want to be in the root folder of the Web3 Builders coin, okay? And just do npm install open Zeppelin contract. And that is it, my friends. Boom, boom, like this. Let that install. And once we install that, we should see this red completely removed. Okay, one second. There we go. Okay, perfect. Hit save. Hit save on this one. Okay. Now, the only way for us to see this is if we just, let's go and open this one more time. You can see right here. Now we see open Zeppelin. And that's it, my friends. You've created your ERC20 token. But of course, that's not it. Next up, we need to now deploy your ERC20 token to the Ethereum testnet Rinkaby. But before we deploy, we need to go ahead and change up and add the configuration for the network where we are deploying this to, right? So here is an example of the configuration. And all you can do is to get there is all you gotta do is go to hard hat, config, like so, boop, 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 hard hat config, and you should see configuration right here. And this will tell you right here, basically, all the configuration things you can add. Now, the ones we really need is basically just this networks and default network. So let's go ahead and do that. The first thing we're gonna do is the default network. So copy that one and go to hardhat.config.js and paste that into there. So command V right there, okay? Copy pasta, that's the game, the name of the game pretty much. <laughs> okay, moving forward then, we're going to copy and paste this network section too. So go ahead and copy this network section as well, right here, okay? And this basically will, this right here is a, it's an RPC URL, the, the node that's gonna be used to deploy your contract. And then this is a private key of your wallet. Now, that's the important part as well, because we need, need to now get that port part done, right? How do we get that? Okay, so hopefully you have MetaMask. If you don't have MetaMask, make sure you install MetaMask previously before this, okay? But if you have MetaMask account, of course, I have this MetaMask account right here, and I have a testing account, okay? If you don't have one, just create a MetaMask account, and then hit new account, and just call it testing whatever you want, okay? In my case, then what I want to do is we've got this test account inside there. You see, you have the Ethereum main network and so forth. Now, you might not see this. So what you want to do, you may not see the ring could be test network, which is the one that we need. We just call this ring could be. If you want to have this show up, cl click on show and hide. And then make sure this is right here is toggled on. Show and hide test networks. Make sure that's toggled on. Okay. Okay, beautiful. Then select from the drop down, select Rinkaby test network. Boom. We've got zero ETH. Okay. The Rinkaby test network is what's going to be used to actually uh, test our application. We're not deploying directly to the Ethereum main network because that costs a lot of money. Yeah. You don't want to do that right now. Okay. So we need to get test coins. Okay. Go to google.com. Boom. Like so. And type in Rinkaby faucet. Right there, okay? And literally, what Rinkeby Faucet is, is it's a faucet that gives you free coins. They have no value. I know, don't worry, you're not gonna rich from this. You're not going to get rich from this, but they are good for testing, right? So here's what we got so far. I'm going to go to my MetaMask account. You know, I will copy this 273 wallet address, go to here, Paste this in, okay? You might have to connect your wallet inside here because I think that's what it wants, okay? And then select, I am not a robot. And then you will get 0 0.1 test ETH. So click send request. Boom. Send request. Give it some time. Doo -doo. 
All right, cool. Now it's done. All right, so let me see if I should have it now. 0 0.1. Hey, we got 0 0.1 test ETH coins that we can use now, right? Same thing. Let's, we can do probably one more time. Let me see if we can do one more time so we can get more. No, it says you need to now do it later on in the time. That's okay. We only use 0 0.1 test ETH, but we don't need one much more than that. Okay. All right, moving forward. Now what you got to do is you got to export the actual private key of your of this account that's right so you go to here this testing click on um account details okay and then you see this export private key click on that type in your metamask password boom and there we go trust me when i say you do not want to give this private key up if you do you are screwed all right moving forward okay so cut with the private key right here Okay, uh, and you could just honestly just paste it in or you could just save it in a variable. In my case, I will go ahead and save this in a variable right here. So I'm going to say const uh, private key, okay, is equal to this one, whatever it might be. Okay, so 726, okay, awesome, good. All right, and then save that, command S, save that, and then use the private key variable inside this account section. private key variable okay so now we have everything in place okay we've got our the network urls we've got our private key we have our web3 builders coin okay that's the most important thing when we go and launch this coin it will actually send us ten thousand coins to the address that's going to launch it uh-huh that's cool that's right and then from there we will add something called liquidity so before that, though, what we need is to configure this URL. And this URL is something called an RPC node. RPC node, right? You're probably like, RPC node? What is that? Another term to learn from blockchain? That's crazy. Okay, so it's not that bad, okay? RPC node basically is a protocol that's used to talk to the blockchain. You know, it is what sends transactions. It is what allows us to base. It's like an API. Think of it that talks to the blockchain network, right? So if you want to send, for example, a transaction, right? Let's say you want to you uh, mint an NFT. That transaction has to happen through a node, right? That talks to the blockchain itself. That's basically why we need RPC nodes. So because we are going to execute a transaction to create a contract, we need a proper RPC node. And how do we get that? Well, you can go to Google. And type in RPC node, RPC node, and type in Rinkeby, for example. All right? Okay. See this RPC info? So this gives us some good uh, data on RPC info. And so you can see right here, we have Ethereum mainnet, we have, and then there we go, we got the Rinkeby testnet RPC. So go ahead and copy this one. There we go. Command V use that one okay use that one and then we should be all good that's pretty much it once we've got this rpc node then we can actually go into deploying our contract now it is time to launch the coin and deploy it to the rinky b test network let's do this are you pumped i'm pumped let's go all right we need to go ahead and edit this deploy script that will basically deploy our contract right so in here what do we see in here we see that it's getting our contract of course this is the wrong contract and then it's deploying it and then it shows us the deployed um, address pretty much now we need to change this to instead of, instead of being greeter to actually say whatever this is so this is the contract name so you want to copy this contract name web3 builder command c go into the sample script right uh probably you can probably just change it from a sample script to just hit enter say script.js we don't need that to be sample script there we go okay and then inside here just say get contract factory use the web3 builder one web3 builder beautiful and then from there okay i'm going to change this greeter to be a web um we could do let me see here i can simply just do it like this two 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 I'm going to do command D to change both at the same time. Web three builder. Mm, not good. Hold on. Right here. So let's go do web three builder like so. Command C this one. Command V this one. 
This is the smaller version, the, t the lowercase version of this, right? So Web3 Builder like so. Command C, this. Command, <laughs> Command V. So I said, it's all about copy and pasting, you guys. Uh, Command V, and there we go, right? So it's going to deploy our contract right here. It's going to wait for it to be deployed. Remove this space in here. Don't need that. And then uh, once it deployed, we're going to get the address of the deployed contract. And that's it. Okay. So like I said, open up your terminal. So open an integrated terminal. Make sure you got that. As you can see, we've got our script.js, which is right here. I'm gonna, going to change this grid that deployed to be to be uh, crypto coin deployed right there. All right. We've got the Web3 Builder. Amazing. Yeah. Okay. We got that. We got this. This seems to be all good. All right. We need to provide the, basically the MIT license for this uh, specific, um, for this contract. And all an MIT license is, is basically it tells us that, hey, you know what, this contract can be used pretty much by anybody. It's not like, you know, this code will be viewed anyways by everybody. So it doesn't really matter. Let's go ahead and do a deploy now. To deploy our contract, all we got to do is, if we do, if you want to take a look at it right there, let me see here, hard hat, hard hat, deploy. Deploying your contracts. All you gotta do is just say npx hard hat run. So let's go ahead and do that. So npx hard hat run. Okay. Dash dash network. Ring could be. Ring could be space. Um, and then script. And the script. And it's this one right here. So the script we're gonna run is this. Let me go ahead and remove this. Is this script.js. And that's it. It's that easy. Let's hope you don't get in there. I hope so. Let's see. Crypto coin deployed, baby. Let's go. Okay, cool. All right, moving forward. So go ahead and copy this address. All right, copy this address. From there, let's go to our um, ether scan. So type in ring could be ether scan right here paste in our address okay and here we go our contract guys is deployed you can see web3 builder w3 that's our coin and that is it up next what we need to do is actually give this coin some value because right now it's invaluable right now it's like a piece of Basically, it costs no money, okay? Uh, so to give it some value, we have to give something something called a liquidity pool, which a liquidity pool is basically you add money into the pool, into the pool, into the coin pool, right? So like, like for example, I can say, if I add, if I say, hey, I'm going to add 100 ETH, okay? 100 ETH um, for 100 coins, then how much is each coin? One coin is going to, going to equal one ETH. Right. And so that's how people add these liquidity pools. And then what they do on the side is they make money. That's right. So you're like, well, why would you add liquidity pools? What's the benefit to the person who's in the liquidity pool? OK, for that liquidity pools, people who make those liquidity, uh, who people who add money into the liquidity pool, they make money themselves as well. They make money on the percentage and um, they make money from the percentage of every single transaction. Yes crazy stuff uh-huh and so that's why we have liquidity pools now to do that all we got to do is let's go to uniswap okay we need to add some value to this now okay now you, as you can see after we deploy we only have 0 0.09 uh 0 0.09 um eth of course we deployed our contract all right, and we can actually import our W3 assets. So check this out. Go ahead and copy this address. Go back to MetaMask. Im import tokens. Paste in the contract address. Oh, look at this. Add custom token. Hey, import tokens. 10,000 uh, W3 tokens. How cool is that? And so you pretty much have a token now that's yours. That's cool, right? Uh, next up, let's go and add a liquidity pool. So go to Uniswap. Uniswap, all right? Select this one. Beautiful. Go to launch app. Okay? Make sure you select it. It's probably disconnected for you. So make sure you, let me see. Let me disconnect it from you. 
just go ahead and make sure you connect it to wait change let me see here uh, i don't want to so if you already are connected, that's okay. Just go and disconnect your other. Uh, let me go ahead and see. I'm gonna. I will go ahead and switch into this account because that's the account that's connected to me. And I will go ahead and click connected. I will disconnect my account here because I don't need this. Okay, because I need this testing account. This one right here. Okay, so I'll click connect wallet. All right, hit MetaMask. There we go. I connect your testing account. Hit next. Hit connect, and that's it. Okay. Um, and that's it. So now let's go ahead and actually try to swap up some, for example, 0. Point, let's just say if we do 0 0.02 ETH for, uh, you know, the W3 token. So to actually get the token, you can simply just copy and paste the the contract address, which is this one. So this D8, copy, paste this one. You see, import, import, right? And it's going to try to fetch the price, but it really can't because it says insufficient liquidity for this trade. Uh huh. That's interesting. Oh yeah. Okay. Right. So that's because there's no money in this token. Nobody ever puts like, for example, it's the same thing if you think about, if you think about, you know, stocks. Right. If there's no one to sell the stock, then you can't buy the stock. Right. If there's no one to sell the stock, then you can't buy the stock. That's pretty much why we need liquidity pools. All right, to do that, go into the pool section and click new position, All right? Um, so select the pair that we want to basically liquidate, right? The token, the new token that we want is this W3, right? This W3 uh, token that we have 10,000 of. Okay, beautiful. Um, this is the percentage that you want to charge for per a percentage fee you want to charge every time the transaction happens. So select, let's just say I'm going to select the most exotic one. So I want to charge to 1% of every single one, All right? Then what you want to do is you want to select the current ETH price. Interesting, right? So 0 0.01 ETH price. So current ETH price is, let's just say, so one ETH is how much um, is how much uh, W3 tokens. Maybe it's maybe it's 1,000. That's one ETH. Mm -hmm. That's one ETH. Um, now, what is the minimum price of W3 per ETH? Let's just say it's 950. And then maximum price is 1200 right? So there you go. And what we're going to do, we're going to deposit 0 0.005. So basically what it's saying is 1 ETH is equal to 1,000 1, W3 tokens. Mm -hmm. So that's basically, think of it as like I'm selling it for this amount. That's like liquidity. I'm giving it, I'm giving this, right? I select now, how much do I want to deposit? I want to deposit 0 0.05. And that will deposit 13 W3 tokens into the liquidity pool. That means how many tokens people can people in general generally buy right now? How many? Answer the question. <laughs> that's right. It would be 13 max W3 tokens, right? Because that's the only thing I deposited. So what we want to do now is hit approve. Okay. Hit confirm. Give us some time. It's pending right here, as you can see. Yeah, the really cool thing about, uh, you know, liquidity pools is basically you're giving a value to this token. You're saying, hey, I'm going to sell this token, you know, uh, for this much money. That's basically what you're doing, right? And um, and then people can then buy that token for that much money. If there is no physical money into the token, then you can't really buy it. Okay, looks like it's approved right here. Now I want to do is hit preview. Right, preview. So we're going to deposit 0.04 ETH, right, which we have 0.09 ETH right now. Um, and that will equal out to 13 W3 tokens. And then we're going to hit add. So now we're adding money into the pool. And you can see it's going to cost us 0.05. There we go. Hit confirm. Okay. This is so cool. This is literally how tokens have value. And because, because I have a liquidity, because I added the liquidity pool, I make a percentage now. I make a 1% on every single transaction. How cool is that? Transaction has been submitted. View on Explorer. As you can see, it's still thinking. Hit close. And there we go. We got our position 
our liquidity pool, right? So basically minimum price is going to be 953 and then 1211 And then what's going to happen is the algorithm would actually decide, the algorithm would decide specifically um, what, you know, the algorithm will decide... Um, how what the cost is depending on how much liquidity is in the actual token you know how many people are trying to buy what the demand is what the supply is there is an actual algorithm behind this yeah i love this stuff guys i love this so much okay now let's try to actually buy some i know that technically you know uh, technically we are you know on this um uh technically yes technically we deposited you know 0 0.05 eth and now I'll try to buy some with another with another account. So I'm going to create a new account. Okay, let's just say account uh, da, 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 testing two account. Okay, I know I have a bunch of test accounts. It's okay, guys. All right, testing two account. I'm going to give this account more money. Okay, let's go back to Rinkeby Faucet because I want to show you an example of how someone else will now buy the W3 token, right? Okay, beautiful, sweet, sweet, sweet. Uh, no, no, I don't want this faucet. I want a normal faucet, the, the chain link one. Okay, not the 357. I want this right here. So you can click copy on here, right here. Click copy to actually get it. There we go. I do not need this test link. See, the, it has its own token as well. For example, chain link right here. The chain link is a service. Okay, give us some time. Give it some time. Do 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 Hey, completed. All right, perfect. So now we have this. Okay. Let's now try to use Uniswap to buy it. So I'm gonna go hit swap. I'm gonna connect. So I wanna connect a new. No. Try again. No. I'm going to connect my new wallet here. Mm -hmm. That means I disconnect the other wallet. It's okay. So I just hit disconnect right here. Disconnect this account. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Go to the testing to account. That's fine. Go ahead and select the uh, connect. So connect, connect wallet, hit MetaMask, and connect your testing to account. Hit connect. Okay. All right, this one has 0 0.1 ring could be ETH, right? That's the test ETH. Hit select token, and what are we going to get? The W3 right here. See, W3 builder. Of course, we have nothing so far. So W3. Okay. Um, and then, of course, we have 0 0.1 ETH. So I'm going to try to do 0 0.54 ETH and see if I will. Oh, look at that. Right, so for 0 0.4 ETH, I can buy 13 W3. Remember, we deposit that we could deposit it as 0 0.5 ETH, 0 0.05 ETH, basically. Now it's 0 0.4 ETH. Look at this. If I want to buy less W3, I'm gonna say 0 0.2. That's still 13. Let me see here. Mm-hmm. So because of the fact that the liquidity, so what you will find is that if I I can pay 0 0.2 e, 0 0.1 e, 0 0.2 e, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, right? So because of the fact that the cost of 13, uh, you know, the cost of, um, because of the fact that we have, oh, hold on, stop that there. So as you can see, I can pay 0 0.1 ETH. Uh, 0 0.1 ETH, and I will get 13 W3 tokens. I can pay 0 0.2 ETH, and I can also get 13 tokens. And why is that? Because 13 tokens is the only we thing we have in the pool. You see? So the maximum we have in the pool is 13 W3 tokens. That's why no matter how big, uh, how high price I put it, that's what's going to happen. But remember, if I remember we paid 0 0.05 ETH, right, for 13 tokens. So if I say 0 0.05, now it's going to be a little bit less, but if I do 0 0.01, let's just say, see, now it's smaller, right? So let's just say if we pay 0 0.01 ETH for W3 tokens, let's see what we get. So let's go ahead and hit swap, 
hit confirm swap. There we go, hit confirm. It says add W3 to MetaMask because we want to add this token to our MetaMask account. Okay, hit add token. That's okay. View on Block Explorer. Let's see if it's going to actually buy it. How cool is that? It's an actual, you buy an actual token, you give it a value. That's pretty insane. There we go. Swap exactly 0 0.01 ETH for 9.7 W3 tokens. And if we take a look at our new account, right, the testing two account, hit assets. Boom! We got 9.77 W3 tokens. How cool is that? And if you if we go back to our the original testing account, right? Dismiss this one. You can see we have 9,986 W3 tokens because we um, we gave 13 tokens into the liquidity pool. Yes, and that's it. This, my friends, is how a token is created. Right? You create this token. Use a smart contract. You went ahead, you deployed it to the Ethereum test network. Then you give it liquidity, you give it actual value, actual like money value. And then you can trade it whenever you, wherever you want. How cool is that? And that is your token. Before I go, if you yourself want to become a Web3 and blockchain developer, I do workshops, NFT workshops, blockchain workshops. All you gotta do is hit the link below to join any of our workshops slash courses, and I would love to see you there. All right, that's it. Peace out.